I've been watching a few videos and apparently there's some confusion about my name. I just wanted to clear that up. I am in fact the Extraordinary Tourist, or Tet, that's T-E-T. -E this guy here, this is E-T. So, in case you were getting a bit confused, T-E-T, E-T, T-E-T, E-T. What do you mean, E-T? My name's Kevin. Glad you got that cleared up. <laughs> So I thought I'd do one of those rambling video blog things just because I haven't done one in a long time and I thought, what the heck, let's give Hello Rodney a run for his money as being the most boring video blogger on YouTube, so there's really no reason for this beyond that, I suppose, but let's see how we go and I've got a few thoughts on my head that I'm going to share with you. And yeah, now I'm just starting to ramble. Um, right, so, if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you'll know I make art videos. Most often I make videos where you get to see me create an artwork. And I'm, personally I'm getting a bit bored of making that type of video where you see me create an artwork possibly with sped up footage or time lapse if you want to call it that going from start to finish I've been making that kind of video which is often referred to as speed painting before speed painting even became a popular thing on YouTube and to be perfectly honest it feels like I've got into a rut and I'm making the same video over and over again with just a different artwork each time. And you'll have noticed of late that I've been doing videos where you can see me painting in real time and it just sort of fades in from one moment to the next till you gradually see the finished result rather than speeding it up and you seeing every single brush mark I make. But one thing I wanted to ask people was whether you still find that kind of video interesting or whether you'd like to see something different in the way of what I do when I create my art. Um, would you rather see me talking more about the art rather than creating it? Or would you prefer to see, I don't know, maybe a more close-up view of my painting or more discussion about how some of the artworks came about, creative processes, those sorts of things? Or are you quite happy just to see me create an artwork from start to finish using time-lapse speed painting sort of techniques. So if any of you have any thoughts on that, feel free to leave me a comment. Or even better, why not send me a video response? It's, I hardly ever get any video responses, so it's really exciting when I get one of those. You might have noticed as well that I'm doing or trying to get back into doing a few more comedy videos. Um, I wouldn't describe myself as a comedian by any means, but I think it's kind of fun just to have a bit of a laugh, and especially to have a bit of a laugh at art, because, I don't know, artists take themselves way too seriously sometimes. Um, so... Yeah, why not make fun of them every now and then and just to get a bit of a smile out of people. I mean, people say I don't smile enough, but hell, at least I've got a sense of humour. 
Some artists that I know just don't seem to laugh at all. They just take everything way too seriously. So I'd like to do a few more of those. Um, but as I said, I'm not a comedian. and The only time I do those is when something comes to mind. It's, I don't sit down and purposely try to create funny videos like some people do. I'm definitely not a nolts or anyone like that. So, that's that. Would you like to see me do more comedy videos? Is that something that I should perhaps focus on a bit more? Um, sort of work in my niche of comedy art videos, if you like. And speaking of niches and things like that, I thought I'd give a plug to my tourist lounge, or the tourist lounge as it's known. Uh, right from the start, since I came onto YouTube, I've never made any secret of the fact that I am trying to earn money with my endeavours online, which is not necessarily earning money from videos, but certainly these videos are designed to promote my website and hopefully help sell my art and my gifts and other products as a sideline. And the Tourist Lounge is something that I set up to help other people like me do exactly the same and sort of work as a support group or a support network for people looking for ways to earn income online. And by being a member of that group and bringing in information, we can all sort of help each other out and perhaps increase our chances of earning a bit of money from whatever kind of creativity we have. So far we've, the Tourist Lounge is a small network, it's got about 17 members, but of those members I'm getting a lot of good feedback saying that the information that I'm channeling into that group is very useful and people are finding it very worthwhile. So if you've yet to check out the Tourist Lounge, um, I'll put a link on the screen somewhere around here. I'd encourage you to go and check it out. Um, I certainly don't earn any money from the Tourist Lounge itself. It's a free network, doesn't cost you anything to join, there's no membership fees. And if you just get in there and get involved in the discussion and perhaps benefit from some of the information that I collect from all around the internet to maybe help you earn a bit more money from your art or your videos or your writing which is the three main areas that we cover so yep definitely come and check that out um, I think I'll leave it at that because I can see I've run for seven minutes and I don't want to ramble on for too long. That's it for this video blog. Till my next video. Thanks for supporting me and I'll see you later. Bye for now.